sunshine and welcome back to another farmhouse reset i hope you all had a wonderful weekend and are ready to start this new week if you're new hello and my name is jesse and every monday i post a reset of my house whether that's cleaning tidying or just some general catching up that's what you're going to catch in monday's video and if you're not new here welcome back i'm so glad that you're here let me know how you're doing in the comments below and let's get to cleaning Stay tuned to the end of today's video because I have a super special giveaway for all of you guys. Um, I partnered with a company uh, for hitting 2,000 subscribers to do a fun giveaway for y'all. So stay tuned to the end. So I'm just getting started in my kitchen here doing some dishes. I love this little scrub mommy. It is my favorite sponge of all time. If you don't have one, go get you one. I'm not sponsored it anyway. <laughs> I just love it so much. But this video is packed with motivation. We've got some dishes. Um, I'm watching Lauren Yarbrough on my laptop. She's a really good channel to watch. She's a stay-at-home mom to a sweet little boy named Oliver, and I just love watching her channel. Anyway, um, we're going to do dishes, and then I do a little bit of organizing. Actually, a lot of organizing. So if you need that kind of motivation, I've got that for you today. And I'm sorry I'm rambling. I am so sleep-deprived right now. My children are 10, 13, and 7, and I think I got more sleep when they were newborns. But anyway, I also share a big grocery haul in just a little bit, so you can look forward to that. I think we spent just a little over $200, and I was very proud of myself because I meal planned and I bought the ingredients. We do need to buy, like, some meat and stuff at Sam's, but other than that, I think we're set for a good two weeks. Okay, so this is Walmart grocery haul. Last just a couple weeks. I'm just gonna get right into it. I picked these up because I think I'll be able to eat these. It says there's no sugar alcohol, so maybe I won't blow it up like a blimp when I eat them. Um, big bag of this crispy rice cereal. Gonna make some more rice crispy treats, and then I want to try this gluten-free penne pasta. Uh, also spaghetti. I'm just gonna put butter on it because I can't have tomatoes or nightshades. And then I also grabbed these gluten-free plain panko crumbs just to try something different with the chicken. And then I picked up three pounds of ground beef, um, some thin sliced chicken breast, and then five packs of my turkey bacon, stocked up on that because it's all gone. Uh, some turkey original dogs, excuse me, some turkey dogs. Uh, this has to be my husband. He must have snuck on there and added these after I went to sleep last night. Uh, better with cheddar smoked sausage, but that's okay. That'll be a really good dinner for them. Cracking me up. Um, some shredded cheese, a Fiesta blend kind for a taco night. And then I got some more of my dairy-free chocolate chips. Oh no, they gave me the wrong kind. I asked for dark chocolate. Doggone it. Uh, some gluten-free Oreos. Some buttery round crackers. The boys really like those for snacks bag of these chicken patties for an easy dinner, some homestyle meatballs. I'm going to be doing crock pot meatballs for dinner one night. And then got some more of these crystal light packets, peach mango, the Gatorade powder. It is the orange flavor. I thought maybe I had some kind of fruit, but it's just orange. Three jars of this traditional pasta sauce. This seems to be my family's favorite and it's one of the cheapest. So winner, winner, um, some strawberry yogurt. I get confused. Some bell, two bell peppers, two tomatoes. Our tomatoes are not doing well in the garden, so we had to buy some of those. Two onions, um, some red delicious apples, some sweet and seedless mandarin oranges, two packages of these diced peaches for me, and a can of pears for me. Hopefully I can add this fruit into my diet. I think of apple juice stocked up on my um, instant grits, the kind that don't have any flavor. I just add butter and my rice bran to them in the morning and it's a really good breakfast with my bacon. A loaf of bread, some hot dog buns, hamburger buns, three things of the water, some white vinegar, three Chick-fil-A sauces. Y'all know this is a staple in my house. 
some barbecue sauce for those meatballs. I'm gonna do the grape jelly barbecue sauce thing. Excited. And then a bag of these restaurant style chips. I also grabbed this because my middle son is not wanting to eat and he really needs protein and I think I can have this too. So we're gonna try out some things with this and hopefully we like that. But anyway, this is the haul from Walmart. Pretty excited about it. I think it'll last us two weeks. Fingers crossed. All right, so this is the bathroom that all five of us share. So I'm just gonna do a quick little tidy up and then I'm going to tackle my decluttering project underneath the sink. You guys, it's so bad. You just wait. I just want to get this decluttered because it's just ridiculous. So I'm going to do that for today's decluttering project. It's just supposed to be my husband's basket, but it got stuff thrown in there. And this one is just like the first aid and like random stuff. Um, and this is my basket. So I'll go through this stuff again and declutter it what I haven't used. And you can see that it's just a cluster gus. And this is my nail basket. I have to go through that. And this is the extras basket, like toothbrushes and stuff, which as you can see, empty. So got to clean that out. So I'm just going to get started with this project by taking all of these little baskets out. It's one basket for me. Then the middle one was like the medical first aid supplies. And then the outside one is my husband's basket. And I had decluttered them a few months ago, but the kids kind of just throw things in there. And who am I kidding? I just throw things in there. So I needed to go through there and get the trash out, wipe the baskets out because they got really dirty. I don't understand that, but they were gross. And just put back in the essentials. And the one thing I had the hardest time getting rid of was this little pot of Aveeno like facial moisturizer. I've had it for three years. So not only is it expired, but I'm never going to use it. And yet I just kept thinking maybe I'll use it one day and I never did and it was like physically I had to force myself to throw that in the trash can even though it's expired so check your expiration dates and throw away your stuff if you don't have any other reason to get rid of it if you have trouble getting rid of stuff it's good to go by the expiration date all right anyway so I'm getting all the trash out of these baskets and I got a whole Walmart bag full of garbage out of these things it's just insane Oh my gosh, y'all, the amount of deodorants I had in this basket is laughable, like quite comical. My husband was always buying me deodorants because I could never find it. And like every single one that I lost was in here. So that's a, a reality check to stay organized and you won't have to buy as much stuff. This is my nail care basket and I decided to declutter it and make it into the me that I am, not the me that I want to be. So I went through and I got rid of all the nail polishes that weren't my color. I'm gonna give those to my sister for my niece cause she loves to polish her nails. And I'm just gonna keep the colors that I love and that look good on me. So nail polish remover and my clippers.
Okay, so what I did was, I've got my feminine supplies back here, and then this is our water pick. It's all contained in this one box. Then I have my little cotton rounds in this jar, and this is my skincare basket. This is for my purse. It's a lotion. Whoops, anyway. So this is my skincare. I just have my little jade roller, my face wash, face scrubby, and then I have micellar water in there. I just pull this out at night, do my face, put it back under, it's great. Some flossers for the kids. I got their little hair water spritzer. I need to fill it up. A hairbrush, and I'm missing one of the boys' boxes. So I'm gonna have to go to Dollar Tree and grab another box. This is um, like where their toothbrush and toothpaste go. I'm changing it to down here again, because that works really well for the school year. They can just pull it out and get ready to go. So that's that cabinet. And this one I put my extra makeup and stuff that I don't use all the time back there. And the two bottles of hydrogen peroxide up here. And this is my nail basket. Uh, and then this is just all the extras, like the extra toothpaste, deodorants. We have so much deodorant because I kept losing mine and then now I found it all. So we have extra deodorant, shampoo, you know, things like that. And down here, this is my basket. And I just have my razors, my ponytail holders and headbands hairbrush my deodorant that I use every day my curl cream and my hair tools hot tools and then this is like the medical basket with the I need to stock up on some band-aids and neosporin and then this is my husband so he's got deodorant his attachments to his um thingamabob I can't think of the name of it trimmer of some sort and then this is just a smaller I don't know if he wants it or not but I didn't want to declutter it without talking to him first anyway so that is all organized and I feel so that is all organized and I feel dandy. Feels so good to have that done. This company, Miss Fawn, contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to review one of their bags for you guys. And I thought it would be a wonderful way to commemorate hitting 2,000 subscribers on here. So thank you guys so much. I, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that have joined me. I'm giving you a chance to win one of these bags for yourselves. I'll have all that stuff linked in the description box below. But this is just such a very nice bag and i know i just did a purse but that's for like going out and stuff this is more of my everyday need to pack my lunch because y'all know i need food everywhere um kind of bag and i love this it's got a really nice heavy duty zipper lots of pockets the inside even has two insulated pockets so i can take like my pepsis and they stay cold and i told the company that i don't have a little baby so like i don't need a diaper bag but y'all this bag is perfect for any part of your life even if you're not a mom it's a great little bag to put all of your things in um i overstuff my other purse and this is just big enough to where i know not to overstuff it and um, hurt my arms carrying it around so anyway i'm rambling this is a great little bag it's got lots of pockets so lots of little hidey holes and i just think you guys would really enjoy it so thank you so much miss fong for sending me this bag to give away to my friends on here first I usually use and it hurts my shoulders because I packed it so full so I'm just going to transfer a few things over to the new bag. One of the things I really like about this bag is the versatility. You can either wear it as a backpack or it has those two longer skinnier handles. You can carry it like a regular purse and it's super cute. I'll show you guys in a minute. What I decided to transfer from one purse to the other is my wallet. That little brown purse that has my peppermints in it because y'all know I love my peppermints. Um, my pair of sunglasses, I'm going to put those in one of the smaller pockets, my uh, earbuds for my phone, my hat squeezed in there, uh, and then you cannot forget, I gotta have my Pepsi. Love my Pepsi. I'm going to put it in the handy dandy insulated pocket in there, and oh, and also a couple of suckers for the kids because mom life, you gotta have bribes. And I almost forgot, I always have to have my peanut butter, so I'm going to stick that in the front pocket here for easy access. I just want you, I just need you, I know what it is you do. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay. I just want to say thanks again guys for 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe that 2,000 of you have clicked that button to follow my little life and join me on this little corner of the internet. But um... I'm outside right now because my children got loud, but I have other things out here that are loud as well. 
Anyway, thank you so much for 2000. Thank you, Miss Vaughn, for collaborating with me um, on today's video. I'll have all the info for the giveaway links below. You just need to be subscribed to my channel. Uh, leave a comment below of something you always have in your purse. And the third thing is to follow all of the Miss Fong um, socials. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you lots of motivation. I'm just uh, going to enjoy my new bag. It's so soft on my shoulders. Really going to help decrease those headaches. So anyway, y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Be grateful. Good grace. God bless. <laughs>